Today, I'm gonna show you how to take your flip resets from eh level to pro level. Here's how. Currently, I'm in the middle of recording my 30 days of playing with pros video. And one of the biggest things that stands out about pros is their ability to score, get flip resets anywhere. Oh my God. Here's the difference. Most low ranked players going for flip resets are usually so stoked to get the reset that they just instantly flip into the ball and send it away. Instead though, what I've seen work really well when I'm at midfield watching my pro teammates clip is mixing air dribbles and flip resets. Here's how they do it. The first and easier way that I recommend you start learning is the flip reset into the air dribble. And easy is roughly speaking, but hear me out. To execute this, you can jump in a training pack, go to free play, use the free play checkpoint plugin, whatever you want to do. But instead of just going for the reset and hitting the ball right away, get the reset and then try to carry the ball as long as you can in an air dribble before shooting. The direction change that you can get doing this is so much more deadly than just a normal reset. Reset. Option number two, and the even more advanced version, start by air dribbling into a reset. This one is really, really hard, and I'll give a tip or two in a second to help you get it down, but this is genuinely so useful. Good defenders will stop one-dimensional attacks, so if you can start to combine flip resets and air dribbles, not only will you score more in-game, but even just the process of learning this is going to make you so much more mechanically skilled. Here are my top tips. On the flip reset into the air dribble, the key is how quickly you can start boosting upward after the reset. So practice getting that reset and instantly trying to push the ball up. Otherwise, you'll pass the point of no return and you'll fall too quickly with the ball. For the air dribble into flip reset, I think the key here is actually trying to get a little bit on the side of the ball. If you can, using tornado spins to boost around the ball and get a reset that's slightly off center is going to allow you to diagonal flip and get better lift as well as direction change with your flip reset. The best tip I can give you to do this is just to remember that if you're flip resetting on the left side of the ball, you need to have your momentum going up and to the right to make sure you're moving quick enough midair to get the reset and vice versa. Okay, that was a little bit more high level today, but I don't want it to seem like I'm always just talking about game sense. Mechanics do matter, so hopefully this helps. Also, if you didn't see in my Discord, we have just four days left until the price of my coaching increases almost $100. Now, this is not something I'm taking lightly. It is currently the second year anniversary of the program, and we're currently funding some big, big projects for next year. But if you want to get in before the price increase, I highly, highly recommend you DM me with the keyword jump to jump on it before the prices go up. Discord link down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.